Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to another review, and today I'm taking a look at some more 30-minute missions, 1 44th scale weaponry for, of course, using with 30-minute missions kits, or with your gunpla, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Anyway, as always, if you want some of these of your own, including other customized weapons, gunpla, and 30-minute missions, link in the description through Hobby Link. Here we go. So jumping right on into the build, and inside of this box, just like we see with all of these option sets, we've got one bag of runners, so it's pretty simple. This is one of those things that instantly after getting one, I wish I got two, or maybe three, because of the amount of options in here. Putting this together is exactly the same as what we would have seen before. We've got a whole bunch of different elements that are modular in nature, which means you can put them together in any order that you want. As long as the parts fit, you can stick them where you want. So we really only have one handle in here and the rest of the options will have nothing to attach to. But they will be compatible with a lot of other 30 minute missions, kits, weapons that would have came out before. So it's a bit of a mix and match system. But if you do want to build every weapon in this kit, you will at least need three of this kit. So once everything is built, we've got a whole bunch of elements here for building up all of the weapons. So the main event in here is the Gatling, so I'll leave that to last. Let's check out what else we can make. And while I'm at it, I'm going to get a few Gundam kits in here to model the weapons. So there is a kit that usually doesn't use long-range weapons, that being the Build Burning Gundam, the Core Gundam, which I haven't had in a video in quite some time, high-grade Barbie Lupus, and an Oryx 78 II for good measure, that being the entry grade. So putting together the first weapon that we can make in here, which is the standard Rever Nova Cannon. Now, if you haven't seen my review of the Rever Nova, well, this would have been in that video, so you can check that out if you want to see more about it. But this is made out of three elements, the handle part, the big old barrel, and a magazine for down bottom like so. So I'm going to be testing this one out with the entry grade Gundam. So this is as cheap as Gunpla gets, while at the same time being absolutely awesome. So... If you want some extra weapons for using with that kit, this is a decent option. Let's see if we can get this into both hands for an action pose. So yeah, there's an example of the Oryx 78 II with that long range Rever Nova cannon. So of course, just like you'd expect with this particular line of kits, the detail is very nice. We do have a three millimeter peg in the side there for attachment of stuff. And if you don't like this setup, you can actually do a whole bunch with this. If you want something that looks more like an almost different style weapon, you can actually flip it around like so, pop that in like that, and you can have yourself a kind of under-mounted cannon, but it doesn't look as good, I guess. Next weapon. So for the next option, it's pretty much the same. You just pop off the Rever Nova end like that, and then add on this absolutely colossal railgun-looking segment. That makes it super, super long, which will make it super, super hilarious in the hands of the tiny, tiny little core Gundam. So for the most part, these handles will be compatible with most high-grade Gunpla, and so far, that seems like that is exactly the case here. So there's not really a lot to say about this particular weapon besides the fact that it is absolutely huge. If we zoom on in, this has a lot of nice detail, a long segment towards the front, that looks like some kind of targeting sensor. Lots of detail down the length. We've got an extra three millimeter hole on both sides of where it attaches into the handle and everything from there on down is exactly what we saw before. So if you're looking for some long rail guns, this might be exactly what you're looking for, but I think this would look even better mounted round back on some of those backpacks that we would have seen before, like some over the shoulder massive rail guns. Onto the next weapon. So for the next weapon, now we're going to remove that big railgun section as well as the magazine segment. And for the next one, we've got this double drum magazine, which you can attach once again down bottom or up top. I'm going to go with up top and this tiny little barrel. Now, this is the variant of the weapon we would have seen in, I think it was called the Gardenova. For this weapon, I'm going to go with the build burning. I don't have a hand available at the moment for using with a weapon, so I'm just going to pop that one off. Borrow the hand of the entry grade, which does fit. Move that foot back there out of the way. Then just attach that in and it pops in just like so. Grabbing a stand to pop them on to increase the dynamics. And then on you go. So there that is what it looks like attached into the hand of the build burning. Or should I say the entry grade's hand attached onto the build burning. This looks like a cool little short or middle range assault weapon and it looks like it has a lot of ammo but for me i feel those barrels up top kind of give it a bit of a mickey mouse feeling so i'm gonna well move them down to the bottom to see how that turns out i think they can just pop on like that so if you want the barrels mounted down below did i say barrels yeah barrels drum drums drums drum magazines 
And also in case you're curious of what this looks like without any magazine at all, this looks like a nice little short beam rifle. So the last combination that we have in here is the Gatling gun. So we do use the exact same segment we would have been using before with the handle that attaches on upside down just like so. We've got a bipod that can flip down like this. I will mention we have a nice C-clip right here. So if you remember that particular arm section we got before, that would allow you to attach weapons onto the 30 minute missions kits arms and honestly you could probably attach this directly into the c-clip segment of the 30 minute missions arms i actually don't have any handy at the moment right now but that would be an option with the c-clip here as well as some back mounted weaponry then just pop that in like so and there you go there's the gatling and that is absolutely huge and as usual and what i should use more of there's core gundam for size comparison and there's the Oryx 78 2 just to give you a better idea. That's a long-ass gun. Finally, then we do have that floppy, floppy little rubber segment that just attaches in like this. And there we go. Oh, wait. We've also got that big old armor drum as well, which should attach on to this right there. Now, I'm going to try this out with the Barbie Lupus. So, as always with these kits, there's pretty much an unlimited amount of ways to use these so according to the instructions what they do is this handle up back this handle then being supported by another hand i'm gonna see if i can pop that in under those long forearms are well long Ooh. i've actually got barbie attached with those kind of angled sword wielding arms so i'm actually gonna steal the entry grade hand once again for this just so oh that does not fit Damn, not universal there, Barbie. A little bit of blue tackle, rectify that pretty quickly. Ooh, get in there. Mm, there we go. Okay, so far so good. That actual angled hand up front is holding onto that very naturally. So now it's time to get that ammo drum attached. It is worth noting that I just noticed there's a C-clip inside of that. A whole bunch of three millimeter attachment points. There's one that's a peg. We've got an attachment part on both sides for that belt. And if the belt isn't where you want it to be, you can actually stick this little adapter into any 3mm slot and then pop the ammo belt into it just like so. Handy. So I'm going to pop that ammo container onto the backpack like so. Then that belt attaches in like that. Bring in that round to the slot on the side. Get in there. Oh, very nice. Move this extra weapon out of the way. So there is that Gatling gun attached onto the Barbatos, and I have to say I'm actually shocked by how good and dynamic this looks. It attaches on perfectly, I will mention that the pack round back is a little bit of a loose fit because it seems like a lot of the actual parts on the 30 minute, or should I say the uh, iron blooded orphans high grades aren't exactly as universal as modern high grades are. But with a little bit of a modification, things will fit, and this looks so, so cool. Honestly, this is a perfect match. I've always felt that 30 Minute Missions accessories and guns work so, so well with Iron-Blooded Orphans. Yeah, this works, and I guess this is a decent note to leave the review on. This is a very nice weapon kit. Regardless of whether or not you like 30 Minute Missions kits, these are always awesome for using with Gunpla as well. Now, I do have the Gardenova sitting on the backlog to be looked at soon, and I'll use some of these weapons with that as well once I get round to it. Anyway, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Want some of your own? Link in the description. And as always, I'll see you next time. As always, this video and every video would not be possible without each and every one of you guys who watches my videos. And special thanks to those of you who are supporting me over on Patreon and on the channel members, including Caleb Engelhart, Global Frequency Studios, Go Little Rockstar, Gunpla UK Limited, Joe, Kill Me Inc, Lawrence Seahack, Orgy59061, and Van Fawn.